Hey guys, welcome back to Red Devil TV with all the news that Oli's been sacked. Look, let's be honest, it was coming sooner or later, but I was a bit surprised that it came after Watford because, look, we all knew he should have been sacked during the international break. I mean, we had two weeks, they had two weeks to get him sacked, and now he's getting sacked after we have Villarreal three days later. I don't know what to think, there's been rumours of Poch, Zidane, apparently Zidane doesn't want the job. I think, anyway, look... He's been my favourite to come to, to Manchester United. I think he would have a fantastic impact on our team. But, you know, that that that's going to be difficult for him because, you know, he doesn't speak English. Apparently, he's learning to speak English because, obviously, clearly that's going to affect him with future clubs who might potentially want to be in contact with him, especially in the Premier League. But, look, I don't think Zidane's going to come. I think they're going to have, they're going to, have to get someone straight away. And I don't think it's going to be next to Chelsea or Villarreal. It's going to have to be Arsenal. I think... When the Arsenal game comes about, we need a new manager. And with Carrick being interim, I don't know what to think. You know, are, are we going to be in a position where uh, where he's going to do well and then he's going to get a contract like similar to, to Oli when he first came? I don't know what to think. I, I really do think that there could be an opportunity here for Carrick if he gets us on a good run. And I know it sounds mad, but I think it, it could be possible. Looking at this Villarreal game come, coming up on Tuesday, um, it's an early game. Of course, we had... Uh, 3 p.m. kickoff on Saturday against Watford. I'm expecting a win here. I I'm expecting a comeback from the players, you know. And we, we all said this after every game. We said it after Liverpool. We said it after City. We said it after every single game. Oh, we need a good performance here. Against Atalanta was the same thing. But I think with this game, it's going to be different. I think the, the players are going to have to just step up the game. And if I'm looking at the preview, if I'm looking at the lineup and and tactics. I don't know what to, I don't I don't really know what to predict. We're in this this position where Carrick is here and all I can imagine he's gonna play McFred again. You know, the whole season, last season, played McFred, Van der Beek done business on on Saturday against Watford. And I think I think Carrick is gonna go with McFred. I think he's gonna play um four at the back, Luke Shaw, Wambi Saka, Maguire and Lindelof. I think he's going to go with McFred and he's going to play a Sancho, Rashford and Ronaldo. That's what I think he's going to do. Uh, if there was any surprises, I would say maybe he's going to play uh, a Martial maybe or, or, or a Donny. You know, Donny deserves to play. Look what he done on Saturday. And I find it so funny that he scores the last goal in Oli's career at Manchester United. What, what do I expect in this game? I expect attacking football and... I'm not one of these people who wants Man United to do badly just so we get an interim manager straight away. Look, we need an interim manager anyway. We need someone who is going to stay until the end of the season. Look, Hager's not going to come. Enrique, that, that apparently that was a false rumour. He he was not looking forward to that to that question in the press conference he had uh, in um, the game in a couple of days ago. So look, what I think is going to happen is I think we're going to get one of Rodgers. We could get Poch. Poch is in talks as well. Apparently he wants to leave PSG because he's not happy with living in, in Paris, apparently. And I'm, I'm not sure how I feel about that. I think he's a good manager. I think he done well for Tottenham. But to what point is he going to bring us a title? He hasn't won anything. Um, one thing I will say about Poch, he does, he does play versatile football. He can switch to a five at the back. He can play with wingers. He can play with loads of different types of uh, formations and strategies. Now... I think with him, I think he would play um, the likes of a Martial or or even a, a Van der Beek. For sure, any other manager apart from Oli will play uh, Van der Beek. And that's why it's going to be interesting to see what Carrick does. But if I look at the game, I think that's the team he's going to go with. Carrick is definitely not going to go, you know, something we, that we don't expect. He's not going to go with something we don't expect. So I think he's going to stick with McFred. There's a reason why he plays McFred when Oli was still here. It's because the coaches saw something in them that, you know... Got them thinking they can do the job as a centre defence midfielder. So that's the team I, I think he's going to go with. I, I I expect us to play very well, but at the same time, we're still under a coach who clearly isn't good enough for the team. So what do I expect? I expect quick attacking football, quick passing football. If if the players start, who 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 should start? Sancho, Van der Beek. That's what I expect. But with McFred, I expect us to, to just get run over. And with Maguire's form, come on, Maguire's not playing well for the club. Okay, he scored for England, whatever. You know, this Manchester United. So, if he plays a McFred, if he plays a Greenwood, Rashford and Ronaldo, which we can clearly see doesn't work. These are forward players being put in a position that 
clearly they're not creative enough. We saw on Saturday, Sancho created a couple of chances. Van der Beek obviously created a lot of chances for the midfield, even as a goal scorer himself, you know, quickly switching from midfield to attack. He clearly was very effective that way. So I think if, if Van der Beek doesn't play any six with McFred, I think we can be done now. We could be out of the Europa League. And that's why I want us to win, but I want us to get a manager in straight away. Because if we stick with Carrick and, you know, we, we go through this false uh, narrative that he's going to be our next manager and he's going to bring us, you know, titles and whatever, then, you know, we're, we're in a bad position. However, I'm interested to see if Oli had a massive uh, influence on the team lineup. Because if he does go with a Van der Beek and a Sancho, is it because the fans want them to play or is it because he knows he should have played him a long time ago, but Oli's influence kind of, you know, you know, made the decisions for everyone that's involved in it, from the team lineup to the formation, everything. That's going to be very interesting. But also, come on, he's a coach. So clearly as a coach, he tells Oli, Oli wasn't a coach. He wasn't coaching the team. It was Carrick. So for Carrick to say, oh, we should definitely pay, pay McFred every game. That means that he saw something in them that clearly signifies that they should be that centre defensive midfield pivot partnership. McFred, I don't know if they'll play, but I think they will play. I think Carrick is, you know, he's not it for the job, but he, he's, the co he's the coach. So he knows who should be playing or not. So that's what I think is going to happen, guys. I'm expecting us to possibly get a draw in this game. I think we could lose with McFred, but I think we're just going to fight back. You know, Oli's gone. I think it's going to be fresh, but not so fresh because we don't have an, another manager in. So I think I'm expecting a 1-1 here in this game. I think we're going to fight. I think we could see a Ronaldo goal and then we see, you know, a Villarreal equaliser. I think we will score first. I I, I think the team's going to respond quickly early, earlier on, but I think we will get exposed defensively. So uh, let me know what you guys think. Speak to you guys later.